Hey again. Today I want to do just kind of a quick review for you guys on the Epson Home Cinema 2100 projector. Um, I hadn't seen too many reviews on it so I thought I'd kind of give you guys my two cents just kind of based off my experience and let you know what I thought about it. Um, I should mention real quick too that I actually found a pretty good deal on this projector and I'll put a link to that in the description below so you can check that out if you're interested in picking one up for yourself. So I was looking for a new home theater projector. Um, the one I had been using before was a Sony uh, projector. It is about eight years old now, or it was about eight years old, and I got sick of buying replacement bulbs for it. They were really expensive, getting hard to find. Um, and I kind of checked out the whole projector world again, did quite a lot of research. A lot of people were pointing towards these Epson Home Cinema projectors. They said they were really, really good for the money. So I thought I'd check it out and see what it was like. I honestly wasn't expecting too much um, just because the price of this thing was so cheap. Um, I, th I paid around $4,000 for my Sony projector and I thought, well, for 600 bucks, this thing is not going to be uh, anything close to it or anything like that. But boy, was I wrong. Um, well, I guess kind of if you want the short version of this review, I was blown away by the quality of this projector. It pretty much blows away my old Sony in every single aspect, and I was really shocked that it's a better projector by far than my Sony one was for a fraction of the price. I guess it's just a testament to how technology gets better and cheaper over time. So let me talk a little bit about why I like this thing. One is the brightness. It's 2500 lumens. Um, it's so much brighter than my old Sony projector was. And remember, this was a $4,000 projector. This wasn't their, this was an expensive higher end projector back then, about, you know, eight, 10 years ago when I bought it. This thing is so much brighter and that's nice because for one, you don't need a screen. You don't really need to even paint your wall. It's bright enough um, that if it's on a light colored wall, the picture looks great. Second is you can actually watch this thing during the day. With my old Sony, it would wash out. You could not watch it any time during the day. It had to be at night in pretty much complete darkness to get a good quality picture. Second thing, the contrast ratio. It's 35,000 to one. Now what that means is you get real dark blacks. Um, my Sony, I believe, was around 5,000 to 1 contrast ratio, and it's a huge noticeable difference. The blacks on my old Sony are much more washed out than this one. This is almost like you're watching like a, an actual TV screen just like painted onto the wall. It looks so much better in con the contrast does on this one than my old Sony did. Now it is 1080p, it's not um, a 4K, they do make a 4K version, it's quite a bit more money, but the picture is still amazingly good. There's also not a ton of 4K content out there anyway, um, and like I said, you're going to pay probably four times the price uh, to get a 4K projector. Um, another thing is this thing runs really quiet too, um, there is a fan inside of it to cool the um, light, however it's, you can't even hear it running. Um, my old Sony, you could hear the, the thing turn on and it was a little bit annoying, although usually when you're watching a movie the sound uh, drowns it out, but like I said on this one it's whisper quiet. There is a built-in speaker to it, which I thought was kind of weird, I'm not sure who's listening to movies through this speaker on there. I suppose that's a nice feature though if you're going to be using it for like presentations or something like that. Um, but for movies most likely you're going to be hooking it up to a surround sound system or some kind of external speaker source. Um, full HDMI compatible, uh, really really good quality picture too. That's another thing I really like about this. I didn't expect the quality of the colors to be as good as they are. Um, very vibrant, very bright, just amazing projector. I was honestly, I can't say enough really good things about this projector. Um, if you're looking for an awesome home theater projector that'll get you a huge screen, I mean, this thing will do a 180 inch screen with very good quality picture, great color, amazing dark blacks, and super bright that you can watch it during the day. 
Uh, for the money, it's a no-brainer. This thing is awesome. Anyway, yeah, like I said, highly recommend it. If you guys have any more questions about it, just leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.